Sydney oncologist Nicholas Wilkin gets an alert every time a new COVID case is admitted to his hospital. Dr Wilkin managed a COVID ward in September at the peak of Sydney's Delta outbreak. Delta was a deadly disease, whereas the impression we get with Omicron is it's the lungs aren't as, as crook. He says this time around the challenges have shifted. Although it feels like a different disease and it doesn't feel as deadly, if anything, it's probably more disruptive. The state government says recent sampling shows a number of COVID patients are actually being admitted to hospital with other ailments, some testing positive once there. They have to be treated as infectious as well as uh, their admission reason, uh, which makes it a very complicated case to manage. The number of COVID patients in hospital is set to surpass the state's previous peak of 1,286 tomorrow. Yesterday, four more patients died. There are now more than 1,200 people in hospital with COVID, an increase of 138 from yesterday. Another 12 people are in intensive care, bringing the total to 95. The description from our members uh, in some of the EDs is that they're being smashed. One in five of yesterday's tests were COVID positive, with more than 20,700 new infections detected, even as testing rates dipped. This morning, people queued early at this clinic in Sydney's east, but by lunchtime it was closed. The opposition says no extra staff are filling the gaps. Notwithstanding the fact that the government was aware that COVID numbers would increase, a big number of testing centres across metropolitan Sydney closed over the last three days. One private pathology provider has succumbed to the pressure, closing 28 testing sites indefinitely. A system under increasing strain. Alison Shaw, ABC News, Sydney.